Russia-Ukraine war alert, what's behind it and what lies ahead? The troops are not yet back at their bases, but the war alert along the Russo-Ukrainian border has passed. In fact, a war was never in the cards. Yet the alert, while it lasted, was profoundly disturbing. For the West, it highlighted the dangers of a large-scale direct clash between Russia and Ukraine. For Russia, which heretofore has dismissed the Donbass conflict as a civil war in Ukraine, it opened up the prospect of having to wage a real war against a large neighboring country. And for Ukraine, such a war might have been existential. With the threat of war receding, it is important not to waste this dangerous experience and instead to draw conclusions from it. For that, it's essential to understand what was driving the behavior of the parties involved, to explain the moves that they made, and to consider the short and medium-term results of the face-off. Drivers Seven years after its Maidan revolution, Ukraine is a country in considerable difficulties. Economically, its GDP is still 20% below its pre-Maidan level. Politically, it has not yet established a stable balance among the vested interests. Ideologically, and in many ways culturally, it continues to be split. Ukraine has become a ward of the West, but its prospects of being admitted to NATO, not to mention the EU, are very remote, essentially non-existent for the foreseeable future. Since being elected president in 2019, Volodymyr Zelensky and his party have lost much of their once astounding popularity. The servant of the People Party has come under hard pressure from the Russophone opposition based in the east of the country, and the nationalists rooted in Ukraine's west. Seven years after the start of its confrontation with the United States, Russia is bracing itself for even more pressure from Washington. For U.S. President Joe Biden, Russia is a lower foreign policy priority than it has been for any U.S. administration since FDR. Biden talks tough, imposes sanctions, and is going after Russian interests such as the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. Russia's relations with Europe are worse than they have ever been since the days of Mikhail Gorbachev. The special relationship with Germany is no more. The dialogue with France, always superficial, has definitively stalled. At the same time, coordination between US and European policies on Russia has substantially increased under Biden.